everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you guys haven't seen me in a while and that's just because school has been taking up a lot more time this semester than I had anticipated. Uh, but I still have been crafting along the way. So when I was thinking of ways to sort of like help me ease back into it, I decided that it would be easier for me to make one video at a time as I finish a project instead of waiting to the end of the month and having like a specific weekend where I needed to upload because I felt like if I missed that weekend, then I wasn't worth doing anything until the following month. So I think what I'm going to do now is I, I'm going to shoot a bunch of videos today that are individual project based videos and then I'll upload them once a week until I'm sort of like caught up with everything and then as I finish new projects I'll share them when they're finished. So it won't be as regular of an upload schedule but I'll still try to upload as regularly as I can. So today's video is going to be focused on the Moby sweater and I'm absolutely thrilled with how the sweater has turned out. So the Moby sweater is a pattern from Petite Knit. Uh, it's a pretty popular pattern. I think it came out around the mid to end of last year, but a ton of people have made it already. And obviously I chose colors that aren't that extraordinary. Um, I just really liked the look of the cream sweater. It had that sort of like Aran feel to it. So I, I decided to go ahead and do it. I didn't have any pure cream sweaters that I've made so far. The other reason I chose to make this one was actually it was Tony's choice. I gave him a list of everything that was on my queue, showed him pictures, and this is the pattern that he said he wanted me to make next. So this is unlike anything I had ever made before and it certainly fits the bill in terms of trying to, to do more textured patterns and sort of like steer away from the color work yokes, which I've done a lot of color work yoke sweaters. Uh, so this one is fully textured. I think there's, there's really no stockinette in the entire sweater. So the center front panel is sort of like a mock cable. And then um, there's some like more traditional cables running down the side. And then on either side of those traditional cables, we have some garter stitch rows. And then the sleeves are double moss stitch with again, that, that traditional cable with garter stitch on either side. Um, so, and that is the front and it goes along to the back as well. That's the same sort of like pattern along both sides. So for this pattern, I have made the size small. I probably should have gone down to the extra small. Uh, as I've mentioned before with petite, petite mitt patterns, they tend to have about 10 inches of ease and that is true for this one as well. It is written with 10 inches of ease. Um, so I probably could have gone to a size extra small. When I finished the sweater and put it on, it looked like it wasn't like obnoxiously oversized, but as soon as I blocked it, it was huge. <laughs> uh, I like how it fits. The sleeves are a little bit long on me uh, as we're talking about the sleeves. So I did the decrease, the decreases as designated in a pattern. And then once I got to the end of the decrease, I went ahead and did one more cable or was like in the middle of a cable. So I got until the next crossover of the cable. That way it would sort of like look nice as it ended. Um, so, and then I went into the, the rib knit for the sleeves. Um, but the sleeves are a little bit too long for me. I think I should have just stopped immediately when I got to the end of the decreases. Because this sweater, so this sweater took me exactly 14 days to complete. Um, I did this, as I had said, I started it right before the New Year's. And so obviously I was not in school at the time and I was knitting about six to eight hours a day uh, while I was out of school. So 14 days to complete, but a lot of knitting went into there. Uh, and I was also sort of like, going back and forth between this and a pair of socks at the same time. It felt like it took me forever, but in retrospect, two weeks doesn't sound like that bad for this um, detailed of a sweater. The yarns that I've used, I've used some Drops yarns and I've used Drops Lima in the colorway Off-White. This is colorway 0100, which is just their Off-White. So Lima, if you're not familiar with it, is DK weight and it's a mixture of wool and alpaca. And let's see the percentages. So that is 65% wool and 35% alpaca. And so DK weight yarn and this skein is 50 grams and it has 100 meters. Yeah, 100 meters exactly. And then I also held that with Drops Kids Silk in the colorway off-white. So the two of these together. The pattern does call for a DK weight held with a 
lace weight mohair. If I had to do this over again, I probably would choose a heavier weight yarn, something like uh, a worsted weight and just not use mohair at all. Uh, particularly in the mock cable section, I had trouble like catching the mohair every single time. So there are some little places where like I have a loop of mohair that just sort of like sticks out. And I've tried to go through with like a crochet hook and sort of bring that loop to the inside of the sweater. Um, it's something that I see and it bothers me, but I'm not like, I don't think anybody else would notice it. But if I were to do this sweater again, I would prefer, I think, to use a single yarn instead of two yarns held together, just because with making all of those texture, it's much more, I was much more um, apt to drop that mohair string or not catch the mohair string in the knitting process. So the, the construction method of this sweater, you start in the back, uh, you sort of make like a trapezoid with some short rows and you work flat until you reach to the bottom of the armholes. Then you join at the shoulders twice, you know, one on each side and work down until you can join at the bottom of the neck and then continue working flat until you reach the bottom of the armpit. <clears throat> and then finally you can join at the round and the rest of the body is worked in the round. Um, when I finally got to the bottom of the body, I had put so much time into it, but I was really, really happy with how it's turning out. So I, for the first time, did all four inches of that bottom ribbing and it took ages. I think I spent an entire day just on the bottom ribbing and then the collar. Uh, so four inches of ribbing along the bottom. And then I also did that sort of like tubular bind off as well. Normally I do the Italian bind off, but this time I was like, I might as well spend the extra time to do the tubular because I put so much effort into the rest of the sweater. And I'm really happy with how the tubular turned out. I think it looks really, really nice. It gives the, the finish of the bottom of the sweater, like some gravity. It just, it looks really nice and I decided that I was going to use this wherever I can in sweaters moving forward. Of course, I also did that same tubular bind off for the sleeve cuffs as well. And again, I went ahead and did the full four inches of ribbing on here before going into the tubular. It took forever, but I really like how it looks. Um, ribbing is one of those things where I don't particularly love doing ribbing, but I like a nice chunky thick ribbing. On the neckline of this, it is a folded over neckline uh, and the pattern designer has you do some double knitting just at the, around where the fold is going to happen. Um, I've done a lot of folded over necklines and this is the first time I've seen double knit incorporated into it, but I really liked how it turned out. I think it makes the neck look really nice and it's very... It, like it just really gives you like a crisp finish on the neck. Like I've done some folded overs that have like a pearl row or garter row there, but the double knitting on that fold is just chef's kiss. It just gives it such a nice soft look. Um, what else to say about this? In terms of yarn amounts, I used about 11 and a half skeins of the Lima and I used almost exactly five skeins of the uh, drops kids silk. It worked out to about 2,400 yards. Obviously they're held together, right? So it's about 1,200 yards of each. Uh, to date, this is my heaviest sweater. And that probably has something to do with the fact that it's it's got all those texture, right? Which takes up more yarn, but it's also longer than most of the sweaters I've made. So it, it's hefty and heavy, but it's really warm and soft and fluffy. Now, in terms of length, uh, I don't think I knit it to the entire length that the pattern designer had recommended. I looked on Instagram and what I saw is most people had about seven full diamonds coming from the center diamond down. I ended up stopping, I think, at six diamonds instead of seven, uh, just because I thought it looked good. Like when I held it up to my body, I felt like once I added that four inches of ribbing on the bottom, I didn't really want it to be any longer than that because I don't like it when sweaters go past uh, like the break in the legs. I like it to stop before that point. Um, so I'm happy with the length. I definitely wouldn't have gone the full length of the pattern. Uh, so happy that I tried this out, tried some more texture. Of course, there's more textured uh, knitting patterns coming this year because that's the thing that I sort of wanted to focus on. Um, but this was a good way to start out. And it's a lovely classic sweater that I know I'll get a lot of wear and use out of, especially I've gotten a lot of use just in the last two months because it has been incredibly cold in Colorado this year. And then just as a little sort of like bonus update, uh, I made Ferguson the Frog in December of last year. And as I had said, it's been very cold. So I made sure to make him a, a sweater as well. Um, so this sweater is using Drops Lima in the color. I think it's, mm, 
peach pink, which is a discontinued color, and off-white. I think he looks absolutely adorable. And of course, he's staying nice and warm as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the Moby sweater, and I'll see everyone next time. Take care.